I'm pretty sure you have seen one of these smart mirrors online and you always wanted to build one. But dealing with modules, installation and configuration sounds so complicated so you get discouraged. Let me make this easy for you. I will do all the legwork and show you how to make a sweet looking smart mirror with no coding or complicated configurations. This will be a two parts video. The first part will focus on installing the software and adding widgets making it all look pretty. Part 2 will be making the mirror. I am not a skilled carpenter by any stretch of the imagination, but I think if I can do it, you can do it too. Alright, now let me tell you what you need to get started as far as hardware and software goes. Of course, as you may already know from my channel, it is going to be... Yes, you guessed it, it's going to be a Raspberry Pi with all its entourage. By entourage, I mean power supply, micro SD card, micro HDMI to regular HDMI cable. You will also need some sort of a display or TV. I am going to butcher a monitor that I don't really care about. You can choose whatever display you like as long as it has an HDMI port. And that is for the hardware. For the software, I am using a Windows PC. You can do the same on a Mac or a Linux based system. Now we only need one thing and one thing only and that is the operating system. We can find the operating system in this website here and it's called mir.os. Here's the website. It is in German but you can allow your browser to translate it. I am not going to translate it just in case you were not able to do so, so you can follow along to see where I am going and trust me to guide you through. This is the definition of blind leading the blind. <laughs> well I know a little German language, so I am half blind, you can kinda trust me. Any link that I mention in the video will be listed in the video description. So if you can't see the website URL, look for it in the video description and let's go ahead and do that right now. On the website, you will see multiple ways to install MirOS. You can install it directly in Raspberry Pi OS as well as all the supported Linux distributions that are shown right here. Or you can download the entire image and flush it to a micro SD card. The latter is my preferred way of doing it. The option that we are working with is free. There are paid options for commercial use. For instance, you have artisan option for 7.8 euros, business is 6.6 .6 euros, and industry is 4 euros. And last but not least, enthusiasts, which is the one we are working with because we are some cheap people and it's free. So let's download MeroS image and flush it to a micro SD card. The image is less than 1 gigabyte, so a minimum of 8 gigabyte SD card is plenty. Before downloading MirrorOS, you need to know how you want your mirror. Is it going to be portrait or is it going to be landscape? You want to select the one that's applicable to your situation. I am using portrait for this video. And once you get that selected, then you can click on MirrorOS for Raspberry Pi 4 if you are using a Raspberry Pi 4. While waiting for this to finish flashing, and for my new viewers who have never played with a Raspberry Pi or not quite sure how to flash the image to a Raspberry Pi, you can check any of my previous videos for detailed instructions and while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, now that MirrorOS is flushed to the micro SD card, we need to take the SD card out of the computer and insert it in the Raspberry Pi and make sure the Ethernet cable is disconnected. The system will now start. Allow it about 4 to 5 minutes. This is the screen that you will get. Ignore the error message at the bottom. This is simply because we do not have it connected to the internet yet. MirrorOS will automatically create a Wi-Fi network named Glancer Setup. You should see it on your phone, tablet, or computer Wi-Fi networks. Go ahead and connect your phone, tablet, or computer to it as I am showing you here. Once you are connected to that access point, you will need to open a web browser and type in the following. Glancer.conf and enter all required information.
make sure you put in a valid email address as you will be sent a link to that email address. If everything is entered correctly, you should see this screen and your MiroS display will show some information with the time and date as you can see here on the top left side of my screen. You will also see an IP address on the bottom right side of the screen. That is the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and that is the IP address that we will need to use in order to configure and add more widgets to our mirror. At this point, you can continue to use your phone or switch to a desktop computer and enter that IP address in a web browser and this is what you will get. First thing you need to do is check out the time and date. You shouldn't really have to change any of this if you entered the correct information during the setup. Now let's change the news since these are the default news you can use any other source of news that you prefer i am going to rename the title to say top news and save it you will see this change once we change our source to change the source we need to go to sources look for rss feed add new and enter or select your preferred rss news I am going to set it up to New York Times. This is not me endorsing New York Times. This is just one of the available options. Click add. Now we can go back to board and click on ticker. We want to make sure the correct source of news is checked. Click save. And if we go back to our display, we can see that the changes are reflected. Next, we will work on calendar. We'll go ahead and click on it and change the name of the title to whatever we want it to be and go ahead and hit save. Then we need to go back to sources and locate iCal. Click edit. What needs to go in here is your iCal URL label and you can get that information from Google Calendar or any other calendar you want to use. I am pulling my US holidays from Google Calendar. Just ensure you are copying the link that says public address in iCal format. Now simply paste it in here and click add. Again, we will need to go back to board, click on calendar and make sure it is checked. When you look at the bottom of the screen and you see all these widgets and you wonder why they don't appear to be active, it's because they are not. To activate them, you need to toggle this lock switch and you can see the colors change. Now they are activated. You can drag any of them to the main window to make it available. I am going to add live weather, pictures and video. And I will just move them around and place them where I like to have them. And as you can see in the display screen, you will get this message asking to configure them. And that is what we're going to do now. Before we continue, we need to toggle this lock back off. I will start with the weather. As you can see, we have the option of open weather map and Nitatmo. I am going with open weather map. So let's jump back again on sources and look for open weather map. As you can see here, we are asked for an API and a city. So to get that, we will need to go to openweathermap.com and sign up. As soon as you sign up, you will get a free API. Go ahead and copy that API and paste it right here. Now here's where things get a little confusing. If you type in the name of a city that can be found in multiple states, the system will just show you the city name and the US. So you really don't know what state. 
basically you have to try all the cities until you get yours you can match your current weather conditions on open weather map with what you are seeing in your display that's how i kind of dealt with this problem we're going to save that and go back to board to make sure our specific city is checked We're also going to check and see if the display is updated, which it is. Now to the photos. This part is easy. You can simply open the widget and start uploading the photos. I don't think there is a maximum allowed. You can upload as many photos as you want. Adding a video is also simple. You can simply open the widget, find a link to a video that makes your day, copy the link and drop it in here. Last thing I want to show you is how to add reminders or a to-do list. I am using this widget called Todoist and I am going to go to Sources, Edit, here we are being asked for an API. So to get that, we will need to go to todoist.com, sign up, create reminders and appointments, copy the API and paste it in here, add it and that is it. Anytime you add a reminder or appointment, it will show up in your display. If you are not happy with the color of the text or the background, you can change all that in settings. I believe I covered most of the functions. You can add as many widgets as you like. You are really not limited to the ones that I just showed you. Alright, this wraps up this part one. Stay tuned for part two of this project and I am going to show you how I actually build the mirror and maybe watch me fail miserably. Until then, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Catch you in part two. Bye for now.